LeBron James obviously is one of the greatest basketball players of all time, one of the greatest basketball minds and legends of all time. Personally, LeBron James is my greatest player of all time, but that's a different conversation for a different day, alright? As you guys can see with the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be giving you guys my facilitating finisher, LeBron James build in NBA 2K22. Now when you think of LeBron, you think of three different versions of LeBron, the Cavaliers LeBron, the Miami Heat LeBron, and the Lakers LeBron. Now I think that LeBron was the most athletic and in his prime in Miami Heat LeBron as you guys can tell by my outfit right here. So this pie chart is going to have a lot of like physical aspects to it. It's going to be able to play make. It's going to be able to do everything. It's going to have Hall of Fame finishing. It does everything. This is my personal favorite LeBron build on NBA 2K22 and that's why I'm making a video about it. A few months back I did make a LeBron video uh, a LeBron build video, but this build is even better than that last one I made like 2 3 months ago. But as you guys can see, the badge spread over here. You get Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame playmaking badges. It's very spread out. You have a bunch of shooting playmaking finishing and good defense and you have a max wingspan so you'll be able to play good enough defense on this game to get a lot of stops so i'm not gonna waste too much of y'all's time make sure you like comment subscribe turn on post notifications before we get into the my player builder and let's get into it all right so for this build all right the position you want to go small forward now lebron he's very like well-rounded he can play basically every position and you can't really complain about it but for the sake of 2k and for the sake of this video we will be making this build as small forward now for handedness you can go right or left-handed it is obviously personal preference and obviously i'm going to be going jersey number six because this build replicates miami heat lebron so boom for the pie chart you are going to want to go with this pie chart right here so you get hall of fame finishing and hall of fame playmaking badges so the half yellow and the half blue pie chart now for your physical profile you can go with a couple different ones here now obviously lebron has like a lot of strength but 2k doesn't really like giving you like strength pie charts and like speed and all that so for you can go two pie charts right here you can go this top one right here which is the pure speed or you can go this one right here and get a higher vertical but even the, even though I'm going to go with the pure speed pie chart, you are still going to get a good enough vertical where you can jump really high in this game. So boom, you want to go with the top one with the pure speed. Now, for the, if you want the name facilitating the finisher, I would make the build just like I do, alright? So max out your close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, and then put up one on your standing dunk for that one extra attribute you're going to have at the end. You want to max out your mid range, three pointer, free throw, and your post fade, so you get 12 shooting badges. Now for the playmaking, you want to match your pass accuracy and your ball handle, and then you're going to bring this up until you get 23 playmaking badges. Now you have 157 attributes remaining, alright? So, you have to do this very carefully. You want to match your perimeter, your lateral, your defensive rebound, max out your steal, and then put the rest on your block stat. So you get 7 defensive rebounding badges. You see, if you move your block up uh, or down 1, you get 1 less badge on defense. So, this is the absolute... You, you can't touch anything, look, you can't move anything. All these are the maximum amount of badges and the absolute most badges that you can get on this build right here. Now, boom. For body shape, now you can go anything. Usually, if you watch my other build videos, you know that I like to go solid on body shape. But, obviously, since this is a LeBron build, you want to go burly or built to be as big as possible to replicate LeBron. Since he's like a really big and small dude. Now, for the height, you can go 6'7 or 6'8. But as you can see... I mean, obviously LeBron's like 6'8 and a half or 6'9, but 2K doesn't really mesh well with like NBA players for the height aspects with like the stats and stuff. So I'm going to go 6'7 because as you see, if you go up to 6'8, look at all the things that drop. It's not really that worth it to go up one inch to like make it more like LeBron. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go 6'7 to have the highest possible stats. Now for the weight, you want to go all the way down. As you can see, if you go up one, you are going to lose one speed. So you want to be as fast as possible. Obviously, you want the best physicals to match lebron right and miami heat lebron was something else on physicals now nah. so 180 for the weight now wingspan you can do whatever you want but i highly recommend to get max wingspan because you can see you get an 86 driving dunk you still have a 78 ball handle so at 97 overall you will have an 80 ball handle to get every single dribble move in the game at six foot seven 
and your defense goes up tremendously when bringing up your max wingspan and you still have a 62 three-point shot this game is really easy to shoot in so it's just like 2k20 a 62 three ball with 12 shooting badges you're if you know how to shoot the ball somewhat consistently you are not gonna miss with 12 shooting badges and a 62 three-pointer because at 99 you get a 66 three-pointer now, for takeovers, both of these represent Miami Heat LeBron, but personally, I like slashing takeover more in this game. I feel like playmaking takeover is better in other years, but slashing takeover is really overall dominant on the offensive end, and I highly recommend that you use slashing takeover on this build. Now, as you guys can see, you have built a facilitating finisher in NBA 2K22, with shades of Anthony Edwards, Latrell Sprewell, and DeMar DeRozan. Unfortunately, the, it doesn't show like LeBron in the shades of. I feel like if you went up to like six foot eight, maybe he would show up in your shades of. Uh, either way, this is obviously still a really good LeBron build, and I highly recommend that you use it in NBA 2K22. Now, I know this was a short video. I wish I could get some gameplay in for y'all, but I couldn't really find a teammate. But this is gonna be the end of the video, bro. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'm out, man. Thank you.